G'day, Rick here, and in this article and video, or should I say in this video and accompanying article, uh, I intend to show you how to display videos from YouTube or Vimeo at 100% of your screen width in your Obsidian notes. Now, I love to embed videos in notes. Uh, I do a lot of it when I'm doing research and also when I'm doing note making. And I'd much rather do that than include the link to the to the YouTube video, for example, and then have to go and watch it. Much better if I can watch it in, in my Obsidian note itself. So by default, when you copy and paste the embed code, it's a pretty small display because I think it's set to uh, 560 by 315. That's correct. Um, and you can change these dimensions by going into the code. But of course, that's a lot of mucking around. Also, of course, you want any embedded videos to be responsive if you've got them in, in Obsidian so that you can see them on all of your devices. So let's have a look at some examples, shall we? So in this first one here, which you can see on the screen, this is where the YouTube video is directly embedded. And I've copied the code in here, which comes direct from YouTube, which is the iframe embed code. And if you paste that directly into your Obsidian note, this is what you will get. So as you can see, this is only taking up about, well, it's probably less than half of my available screen width. And to watch the, uh, to watch the video is going to be reasonably small. So that's what you get with a direct paste of the embed code. Now, if you use a CSS snippet, which we will get into, you'll see that the embed code that we use is exactly the same as that above, but we're going to use some CSS code and also a template to put the video in at 100% width. Now, here on, on the screen, you can see the template code, uh, and I'll actually include files for all this CSS, the CSS snippet and also for the, for the template code. Um, but it's calling a class, which you don't need to worry about, and, and where to insert your iframe code. That's if it's a YouTube one, and this one's if it's a video one. So we'll get to that shortly. But don't worry about it. So then what would happen is that if you call the template, uh, it would put this up on the screen there. You would then put your embed code in between the two, the opening and the closing div. So it's exactly the same code, no difference. But what happens is that the result in the video displaying will be like this. So it's quite some difference, as you can see, because it's taking up 100% of the width on my Obsidian Note, and that is a much more reasonable viewing size. Now, as I said, I will include a file or a link to a file at the, in the show notes for the video. And in the article, of course, it is all here that you can copy down and download and save yourself. I'm not going to bother going through and explaining all the CSS and the HTML code, because if you know what it is, well, then you'll know anyway. And if you don't, there's no point starting here. So this is the code for, for the CSS. And then this down below the bottom here is the code for the video template. So it's all included in the one file anyway. I was going to explain the padding bottom section of the CSS, particularly you know because it sets the aspect ratio. Uh, but there's not too many 4x3 videos around now, and I think it would just make the video longer. I have included it in the article that's attached in the show notes. So if you want to know how to do something about the 4 to 3 aspect ratios with your videos within your Obsidian vaults, I suggest that you have a look at that information there, and it will show you how to calculate. The right percentage. So in conclusion that's just been one of the little things that's been bugging me about my Obsidian notes and I finally got around to it and got the code all sorted out and got it working and I'm uh, very very happy with it and I certainly hope it helps you. So until next time, cheers!